Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 15th question from CBSE Class 10, 2023-24 Practice Questions for Mathematics Standard with Subject Code 041, Section A, which is Multiple Choice Questions for One Mark Each. Now, this question is from Surface Area and Volume Chapter. A cuboid of base area, P square units, is filled with water up to height of Q units. A sphere of volume R cubic units is dropped into the cuboid such that it is completely submerged. A representation of the submerged sphere is shown below. Which of these represents the increase in the height of water? Is it 0 units, R over P units, R units or Q plus R over P units? Now let us understand the question first with respect to the given data. Now cuboid of base area P units. Now this is the cuboid given. Let me show you the base of this cuboid. So you can see this is the base of the cuboid and it has been given as P square units. So let us write here P. It is filled up with water to a height of Q units. Now the shaded region which you see, this is nothing but height of the water and it is given as Q units. So base area is P units and height of the water is Q units. A sphere of volume R cubic units is dropped in the water and it is completely submerged. So volume of the sphere is given as R cubic units. So let me write over here. Now here we have to find out if we submerge the sphere inside the water, by how much amount is the level of water increasing? Now let us imagine initially that the sphere is not inside the cuboid. We have not put any sphere inside. So at that time, the volume of the water will be equal to the volume of the cuboid because water takes the shape of the container. And here our container is the cuboid. So we can write volume of water is equal to volume of cuboid. So let me write over here. So volume of the water is equal to volume of cuboid. And the volume of the cuboid is given as base area times height of the cuboid. Now here since we are considering the volume of the water, we are going to take the base area times the height of the water. So let me write over here. Now the base area is given as P in the question. So let us write here P times, now height of the water is given as Q. So let us write over here. Now this is all happening when we have not put any sphere inside the cuboid. Next. The next scenario is, imagine that we take this sphere and we just submerge or drop it inside this water. So at that point of time, how much amount of sphere is going inside the water, that equal amount of water keeps on increasing in height. So we can say, volume of the sphere is equal to volume of the water which increases. So now we will write here, so here you can see volume of water that increases is equal to volume of the sphere that submerges inside the water. Now volume of the water is nothing but P times Q as we got here. So let us write P times Q equal to the volume of the sphere that is submerged. Now in the question volume of the sphere was given as R cubic units. So we are going to substitute in place of volume of sphere R. Now since they want us to find out what is the increase in the height of water and Q represents the height of the water, we are going to write Q is equal to R taking P on the other side of equal to sign, we get R divided by P units. So the increase in the height of the water is equal to R over P. So let us see if it is in the option. It is option B, R over P units. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. 